I feel the need, the need to calculate my latitude using my smartphone and a straw. Very simple. All we're going to do is we're going to line this end of the straw towards the sun and this end of the straw towards the wall or towards the ground. But more on that later. This is Celestial Nav 101. We're going to go over basic principles of celestial navigation and then go out in the field and actually figure out our latitude at not one but two different locations. It's going to be great fun. And hey, if you like this, do subscribe because 102 is coming up shortly. The first principle of celestial navigation is parallel light. The sun is so far away that by the time the sunlight gets here, the light rays are all traveling in parallel lines. Actually, the maximum divergence angle is 0.5 degrees, but for the purposes of celestial nav, we can consider them parallel. Here's a picture taken by astronaut Christina Koch from the International Space Station. And look at these shadows. Notice that they're all parallel. The only reason that people around the globe see the sun at different angles is not because the light has changed, it's because the ground has tilted. For example, somebody might be seeing the sun rise while somebody's seeing the sun directly overhead and somebody seeing the sun set. Well, the light hasn't changed, it's the ground that has changed. And we can use that tilting of the ground to find our position if we know where the celestial body, today the sun, is directly overhead. Yes, we have a question from the back. How would parallel light work on the flat earth? <laughs> Get out of here, you're cracking me up. Oh, you're being serious. Uh, in a nutshell, it wouldn't. The whole principle of celestial navigation is we're measuring the curvature of the Earth and using the curvature to find our position. Remember, the sunlight is the constant and the curvature is the variable which we're measuring. Now let's get into observing the light. And what we're really interested in when we're observing the light is the zenith angle. The zenith angle is the angle from directly overhead to our sunlight. If we were directly underneath the sun, where the sun is 90 degrees overhead, the zenith angle would be zero. As I move away from being directly underneath the sun, what we call the sun's geographic position, as I move 60 nautical miles in any direction from the sun's geographic position, the ground would tilt one degree backwards. So as the ground tilts one degree backwards, the zenith angle is gonna change. The zenith angle would change by one degree. Now that's not the light changing, that's just the ground tilting away. If I move 600 nautical miles from the sun's geographic position in any direction, that would be 10 degrees in any direction of ground tilt, we would see the zenith angle change to 10 degrees. And once again, that's not the light changing, that's just the ground tilting away 10 degrees, and thus seeing that the light is constant, it's the ground that's tilting. The convention is to measure sunlight from the horizon. That's how we measure sunlight with the sextants from the horizon to our, to our sun or heavenly body. And now that, that is called observed angle. So, but the math is very easy. 90 minus observed angle equals our zenith angle. For example, if the zenith angle is 10 degrees, the ground is tilted 10 degrees from the sun's geographic position, that will make the observed angle 80 degrees. So the math is 90 minus observed angle of 80 equals the zenith angle of 10. Today we're gonna to take a solar noon sunshot. The benefit of a solar noon is the sun is either directly due south or due north of us. And any angles we measure, we can directly apply to our latitude. In Celestial Nav 102, we're gonna expand on that a little bit further uh, but for now, we're going to work with Solar Noon. So we're going to head out at Solar Noon with our inclinometer app and our phone. And remember, Solar Noon is not 12 o'clock on your watch. It's when the sun passes directly due south or due north of you, crossing your meridian. You can find Solar Noon a couple of ways. Just keep taking sun shots until the sun peaks in the sky at highest elevation. That's Solar Noon. You, if you don't feel like going out all day and taking observations, you can use timeanddate.com stellarium.com and find your, find your solar noon. Let's head outside at solar noon and take a sunshot. Looks tropical. I'm measuring an angle of 63.8 degrees from the horizon at solar noon. 90 minus 63.8 equals a zenith angle of 26.2 degrees. That means the ground is tilted 26.2 degrees between us and the sun's geographic position. Since I'm measuring directly due south at solar noon, we can directly apply that ground tilt to our latitude. 
That means that the sun's geographic position is 26.2 degrees of latitude south of us. Because remember, for every degree the ground tilts equals a change in degree of latitude. Now that doesn't really help us if we don't know where the sun is, where the sun's geographic position is. But we could find the sun's geographic position. It's called the sun's declination. We could start calling people south of us and start asking them, hey, did the sun cross overhead today? Until we find somebody who said, yes, you know what, it did cross overhead. And then we just ask for their latitude. And at that point, we will have a sun's declination. But that's rather cumbersome. So we can use an almanac or an app like Stellarium. We can even ask Google, hey Google, what's the sun's declination today? And the day I did my observation, the sun declination was 13.4 degrees. We know we're 26.2 degrees north of 13.4 degrees south. So negative 13.4 plus 26.2 equals 12.8 degrees of latitude. My actual latitude is 13.1 degrees north. That's a difference of 0 0.3 degrees, or about 18 nautical miles. Not too shabby for a cell phone and a straw. Next, we're gonna travel north, 30.4 degrees, and the ground is gonna tilt 30.4 degrees away from the sun, so we're gonna expect the zenith angle to open up another 30.4 degrees. But before we do that, Let's break down this observation here in the tropics. To really understand what's going on, let's take the Earth and slice it in half along our meridian in a north-south line. Here's the sun's geographic position. Today, the sun's geographic position is 13.4 degrees south. You'll notice that the sun's geographic position, the sunlight is coming in directly 90 degrees to the ground. So if we dig a hole deep enough, the sunlight would shine right through to the center of the Earth. Now this next slide is super important. This slide explains why the zenith angle is equivalent to our change in latitude from the sun's geographic position. It all comes down to geometry. If we look at the sun's GP, the sun's rays are going right through to the center of the Earth. And if we look at our location somewhere north of the sun's GP, those sun's rays are parallel. So we have two parallel lines. The cyan straw is extending from the center of the Earth to our location and continuing directly above our heads, what's called our zenith. Now, if we look at angles A and B and we apply some geometry, we gotta look for, for a rule called parallel lines cut by a transversal. The sunlight is a parallel line and the cyan straw is a transversal. And that means that angles A and B are the same. B is the zenith angle, and A is our change in latitude from the sun's geographic position. We measure the sun to be 63.8 degrees above the horizon. That means the zenith angle is 26.2 degrees. That means we're 26.2 degrees north or south, but today north of the sun's geographic position. Now what we'll do here, since 13.4 degrees is south of the equator, we'll designate that negative. So I'm gonna go negative 13.4 plus 26.2, equals our location of 12.8 degrees north of the equator. My actual position, 13.1. That's a difference of 0 0.3 degrees, 18 nautical miles. Not too shabby. Now let's head north of 30.4 degrees for another sunshot the following day. At solar noon, I'm observing an angle of 33.3 .3 degrees from the horizon. That means my zenith angle, 90 minus 33.3 equals 56.7 degrees. That means that between me and the sun's geographic position, the ground is tilted 56.7 degrees. We're measuring directly south of us. We can apply that tilt of the ground directly to latitude. That means we're 56.7 degrees north of the sun's geographic position. Since it's the following day, the sun's declination is now 13 degrees south. It's changed a little bit. So I'm gonna apply the formula, negative 13 plus 56.7 equals a latitude of 43.7. My actual latitude, 43.5. That's an error of 0 0.2 degrees. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Celestial Nav 102 is coming up shortly, so uh, be sure to subscribe, you don't wanna miss that.